Werner Minshew has had a wild life that has led him from community college to Division I to the NFL. Without any further ado, here's the story of Gardner Minshew. Minshew can stand like a statue and deliver to a wide open Calvin Jackson to the pylon. Another touchdown. Before we start the video, if you could subscribe and like for more videos like this. Now let's get back to the video. Gardner Minshew was born in Brandon, Mississippi on May 16, 1996. A funny little story about his name is his grandfather wanted to name him Beowulf Minshew after the old English poem about a warrior who travels to the ends of the earth and beyond. Seems like a really cool idea, but the name itself was a little too out of the ordinary. Gardner grew up on sports, with his dad playing football at Millsaps College in the early 90s and his mother playing basketball at Mississippi State. Gardner played football for practically his entire life and was extremely competitive. His father talked about how, after one tournament, the teams wanted to get together and take a picture, and Gardner's like, I'm not taking a freaking picture. That competitiveness carried on into high school, and although Gardner didn't do much his freshman year in varsity, with only around 500 yards and 6 touchdowns, with around 2 picks and an 85 QB rating, Gardner had an amazing sophomore season. He threw for over 3,000 yards and 27 touchdowns with only 12 interceptions and a 91 quarterback rating. Going into his junior season, Gardner improved his game even more, and although he threw for nearly 400 yards less, with just over 2,600 yards, it was in 4 less games. Upon that, Gardner threw for 24 touchdowns and only 5 picks, along with a much better 105 quarterback rating. You may think Gardner had a great junior season, but he was able to up the stakes his senior year, where he threw for over 3,500 yards, with 31 touchdowns and only 3 interceptions, and a 113 quarterback rating in only 13 games. Even with these stats, Gardner was only a three-star recruit coming out of high school and only gained real interest with some smaller D1 schools in Akron, UAB, and Troy. Gardner ended up committing to Troy in December of his senior year, a school not too far away from his home in Mississippi. He graduated early from high school and attended college for a semester before transferring to Northwest Mississippi Community College. A major reason as to why Gardner decided to leave was the fact that he knew he had no chance to take the starting position from quarterback Brandon Silvers. Brandon had practically every advantage over Gardner as he was 6'4", 230, and could probably run a 4.6. Gardner won the job at Northwest Mississippi easily and led the program to their third national title. During that season, Gardner threw for over 3,200 yards and completed over 60% of his passes. With a stellar JUCO season behind him, Gardner was able to transfer to East Carolina University. In the first year at ECU, Gardner played in only seven games with only two starts, but ended up throwing for over 1,300 yards and eight touchdowns with only four picks and a 124 quarterback rating. The next year, Gardner split time with Duke transfer Thomas Sirk, but he was still able to throw for over 2,100 yards and 16 touchdowns with only seven picks along with a 129 quarterback rating in only 10 games. After that season, Gardner received a bachelor's degree and the next fall enrolled at Washington State. Gardner captured the college football world by storm at Washington State with Minshew Mania. Minshew's mustache gained a lot of attention, and not only that, but Minshew was able to take his talents to another level and throw for over 4,700 yards and 38 touchdowns to only nine interceptions and a 147 quarterback rating. Minshew, looking for touchdown pass number seven. A lot of his success was due to the fact that his coach, Mike Leach, was an air raid aficionado, and Washington State threw the ball like crazy. With these stats, Minshew led the FBS in passing completions and attempts, yards per game, and was second in total passing yards to Dwayne Haskins. Due to these stats, Minshew won the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award, which is awarded to the best senior quarterback in college football. Also, he was the Pac-12 Offensive Player of the Year and even finished fifth in the Heisman race. Even with the incredible senior year that Minshew had at Washington State, many teams were reluctant to draft him because he was only 6'1", 225, and he ended up falling to the sixth round and was drafted 178th overall to the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jacksonville Jaguars select Gardner Minshew, quarterback, Washington State. Minshew made his debut against the Chiefs in week one with the starter Nick Foles getting a shoulder injury. Minshew completed 22 out of 25 passes for 275 yards and two touchdowns with only one interception, but it just wasn't enough to win and the Jags lost 40 to 26. Although the team didn't win, the performance earned Minshew the starting position, and in his first year Minshew threw for over 3,200 yards and 21 touchdowns to only six picks, along with a 91 quarterback rating in only 14 games. The season put Minshew in the Rookie of the Year talk and motivated him going into his sophomore season. This season so far, in six games, Minshew has thrown for over 1,800 yards and 13 touchdowns with only five picks and a 94 quarterback rating. The stats look good on paper, 
but he is on a terrible team in Jacksonville and in turn has only won one game and it's not looking too good. The real question is, will Minshew and the Jags bounce back? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Minshew hanging in there. Stays on his feet again, dancing around. Dodging tacklers now, throws end zone, caught, touchdown! Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe and like for more videos like this and comment down below what you think about Gardner Minshew. See you guys in a few days and peace out.